Welcome back guys to episode 2 of the Monster Perch Search. This is day 2 of 3. Last week we did find a perch and when I say we, my luck wasn't in it. Darren had some really good fish but we didn't travel all that way for that size of fish. We are really hoping can we catch that holy grail of a 50 centimeter perch. We're in the right waters, we're in the right boats, we're with the right people, and we have the right lures. Let's get fishing. Oh, 50! It's a 50! Can you help me? Wait, 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 wait. Did me and Darren manage it? Stay tuned to find out. Morning guys. Morning guys. How are you? <laughs> it's uh what time is it? About half six? Half six, yeah. It's about half six and we are uh, packing the boats up. So I'm um hopeful today we'll catch we we'll catch a good perch, but uh, I'll show you where the boats are kept. So that's don't know who owns that but Peter is uh, fighting a fish. Good perch, good perch. Good perch, Peter. The day started off pretty fast with Peter Nab and his first fish. This is fishing in the Netherlands, let's go. Yeah, so we were just fishing in around the shallow bay and I decided to take a few casts slightly out to deeper water and yeah, really nice on the, on the gobster shad, 10 gram jig head. So yeah, we'll keep going and see if we can pick up a few more. That's two nice fish this morning. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, third fish on. Can be a zander, it's not shaking at all. Oh yes it is. Or pike. Or pike, yeah. Or a big perch, or a <laughs> we'll see. Oh, it's a gala alligator! It's going really, really down. If it's a perch, it's a monster. Yeah, I saw something. <laughs> Big perch! <laughs> yeah! Yes! So on the gobster shot again, slightly out deeper. Uh, stand up jig head. Really nice strike, and the fish was holding quite deep the whole way in. A couple of runs you're actually wondering was it a pike at one stage, but uh, I got myself another really, really nice perch. I think it's a new PB, but. Maybe a new PB, yeah. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. 
Is this what we came for? Has Darren got that elusive 50 centimeter? Oh, 50! It's a 50! Canal made! Will it that Wait, 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 wait. What the hell, balloon, buddy? Yeah. 50! Delighted, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that balloon. Are you ready? Go Are for it, man. Here. You hold it up. You, you hold, hold it up. up. And what, toward, towards me. You can't see it. You can't see it. Towards me. So there we have it. A perch over six pound. And what is a monster balloon perch? As you can see, Darren is absolutely over the moon getting over the threshold of 50 centimeter. As you can see from the boat, it's quite hard to nail down an exact weight. But that 50 centimeter perch has been caught. After spending a good bit more time in that spot, the bites completely dried up. So we moved to the next spot thinking, the perch are moving today, we will be able to catch a few more. But little did we know the day that was ahead of us. Finally, a bite. Really nice hit. Set the hooks and realised this is just too heavy to be a perch. And I was right. Another pike. Another Holland pike. Probably around 8 pounds. I want to let her back because I want to get back to this perch. Oh, nice collar. It is. Pike. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. I went to Holland to catch Jack Pike. Holland turned into Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> Little pike. Not the target fish. Again. Go back? Yep. And back on Peter's boat, the story was the same. Not really the species we're after, uh, Peter, but. <laughs> Show me that beautiful perch, uh, I mean pike. <laughs> Not the species we're after, but look at the detail. Look at it being in the mouth. It didn't bite you off, that's good. I think Peter, Peter, so long without a take. Some pike, but not really. How does it feel? I think it's pike. Pike? <laughs> exactly like a pike. It's pike day. Green tail. <laughs> You would know how a green tail looks, no? Yeah. Yeah. Probably really nice, but on the drop, yeah, just. Yeah. 
Skip. Oh, chance. Do you want to net him or? Yeah. Oh, Save the low. Yes. Run forward. Peter, you're the pipe master today. <laughs> Hippa. <laughs> Not part. Baron, we're on boat number two. Tell me about today. Real hard day. <laughs> Bright sunshine, not easy. Got a few not early easy. fish, but yeah, it's been hard. You got this your. This is the proper you, side of fishing. Yeah, yeah, this is this is where you can tell who's a man and who's not. Yeah, but we, we keep, keep casting. Fishing. Yeah, yeah. Swap, change, jig heads, colors. Just keep mixing the match until we see if we can find one or two extra fish. But yeah, real hard day in the water. But yeah, that's fishing. That's fishing. Yeah. Now we're back trolling again and I don't know what's wrong but uh, I can't seem to catch a pair to you. I, um, we, we're going to be trolling again and I switched to the same lure as him, slightly different colour. He has the red and I have the fire tiger so uh, it'll just be interesting to see now if we find anything else but yeah look at one pair to the boat anyway so we're doing something right and it'll be a bit of luck. On my part, if we nab something, but uh, we have fish, that's the main thing. But it's not what I'm here for. Another perch. So we are finding them. That's not that's not a perch. It was. Yeah. Auto release. No. Pike, the unwanted guest of today. Again, I'm not wanted, Pike. <laughs> yeah. Gravity cranks doing their job. Guess what, guys? I got another bike. Rod went screaming off and uh, another pike arrived. So we went to pick up the camera, the battery was dead, but look at this has not been the ideal start or, or, or pair holiday. So we headed back to the lads as we had split up to cover more spots, but they hadn't caught anything either. So we decided for the last few hours before the sunset we would head back fish a few shallower spots and see in the change in light would we be able to get a bite <laughs> the smallest today.
get back. Bye. So day two was not again what he expected, but uh, it's tough going. But Darren's catching fish, so we're certainly not going home empty handed. Um, he's had literally all the luck today. He's had two PBs, one over six pound, I think the other one was touching with five pound ish. So he's done really well. Um, thanks, Mark, for taking me on the boat. It was a very special day. So tomorrow, if I can catch me perch, that is brilliant. So we will see what we can find. But thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you again in part three.